Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to another mod showcase on the channel. And for today, we are going to be delving into the Divine RPG mod. Now, this mod is one of the largest mods ever created for Minecraft. It extends the original gameplay absolutely massively. It has over 75 new mobs and I think with this 1.12.2 update that has actually been increased to 115 different mobs across the seven new dimensions and there's a ton of new equipment and items and blocks divine rpg is always providing new and exciting tasks and challenges to minecraft whether you want to be a builder a warrior miner or anything else you wish to be now today i'm going to be giving you a brief overview of all the dimensions going through them quite quickly uh, so you get a look at them um you get get a feel of what they're like we're going to be taking a look at some of the weapons some of the armors and just a few other bits and pieces from this mod so let's waste no further time and let's get into it so as i was saying guys we are going to be looking at mainly the dimensions today but you know a few weapons and bits and pieces as well as well as the mobs that are held within those dimensions so i have set up all the different dimensions behind me here the different portals needed now in the actual survival gameplay of this mod you can't just create or get all the bricks needed from the overworld to craft all these different portals you see behind me no you have to progress through each portal starting with the eden and then working your way through them so don't worry i will grab up the list for you guys and then we will run through those different ones these ones behind me right now on this upper level these five are called the twilight dimensions so you're gonna have to progress one two three four five all the way through them to fight and get much better armor much better weapons and far better swords and all that good jazz but don't worry the bosses get harder each level as well because obviously you know gonna make it interesting so in order we have eden then we have the wild wood then we have if i can pronounce this one correctly appalachia uh, one then we have uh skythern and then we have mortem so we've got all these guys and don't worry we'll go over these two as well later that's actually a dimension itself um but yeah as i said we're going to be taking a brief look and a brief overview of them so this is divine rock which you can get from the overworld from divine shards the mix with just standard stone then for each one of these twilight dimensions you're going to need to craft a twilight clock which is just a bunch of clocks uh like that and then we'll grab this and that activates all the different portals so you'll see here like this boom shakalaka so there you go and don't worry uh, i'll be running you through the different blocks used for the different portals as well but let's get into the first one so welcome to the eden dimension this is a beautiful looking dimension filled with very bright colors and you'll find lots of things like this the altars around with these mob spawners in them obviously i'm in uh creative so they're not spawning them in you need to be in survival for them to actually get activated but as you'll see there is ample amount of them spread all over the place great for you to start that xp hunting and just progressing through this beautiful world and uh, you will find eden blocks here and you're going to need these to advance to the next uh dimension which i said we'll go over later um you'll get these by mining eden or uh, Eden Souls and the Heart of the Sunstorm. So, also, you can use Eden Fragments, uh, can be used to create Eden Armor and Eden Weapon Sets. So, all the different weapons and armors you can find in here, going through them. So, you got, uh, here we go, that's a good one, a uh, good example. And um, you can go through here, the Divine Ones. So, if you go through here, boom, boom, Eden Shards. There you go, you can see that lots and lots of different armor sets guys loads of different weapons as you see they get very powerful the further you progress um lots of ranged weapons as well beautifully beautifully done all right the only thing i would say is they could have improved on the looks of the different weapons and things like that 
Uh, yeah, let's see. Okay, so we've got a few mobs floating around here. We've got some bad boys down here. Um, the most challenging mobs in this world are the Nestro and the Madeville, which are very hostile in nature. They only spawn in the dark areas. Um, while the bunny is the easiest to kill. The angry bunny that follows us. You know, you, there's an angry bunny in this world, guys. It's pretty It's pretty much what I'm trying to say here. There's, there's an angry bunny, and you don't want to... You, you can mess with him. He's the easiest one to kill. But, yeah, there you go. This is the Eden Dimension. You get lots of beautiful mobs here. Um, let's see. I'll, I'll go up here. I'll change game mode, and we can take a gander at what mobs this place has to offer. So, let's do that. Let's get to here. Let's see if these guys will spawn in for me. Or, or not, or not, who knows, who knows, but yeah, there you go, it's a beautiful looking place, and as I said, you're going to need the bricks from here to get to the next dimension. Next up, we have the Wildwood Dimension, and as I was previously stating, the Eden block needed to craft this is made up of the Eden, Eden fragments, Eden souls, which you get from the mobs, they drop between zero to two of them. And then you got the heart of the sunstorm. So that cross an Eden block. And then you're going to do this standard like this, standard never portal size. And uh, you're going to jump on through. With these dimensions, guys, make sure to be careful when spawning through, as it's a strong possibility you will be floating. And you're going to want to take stuff with you so you can get down, maybe some feather falling boots or something along those lines, because it does warn the mod that more than likely you're going to be made floating in the air. Now, I know what you're thinking. This dimension is just the blue version of the Eden, and that is exactly what it is. That is all it is to this one. It is just the blue version of the Eden dimension. Um, the reason I didn't show you the mobs for that one is because they're essentially the same. Now, I'll get these out for you, these mobs. So these are all the ones you will find in this dimension. We'll get these out, quick flick through them. They're beautiful looking mobs, I must say. Really interesting and just pretty cool, to be honest with you. And uh, yeah, yeah, nothing much to them. They look great and uh, fun battling them. And you got to battle them to get the souls to get to the next dimension. Now we move on to the third Twilight dimension, the Appalachia dimension. And it is crafted as so with a wild wood block getting all this stuff, the Wildwood Souls, the Wildwood Fragments, and the Heart of the Termosec. You'll find all that in the world. Just got to do a bit of hunting, guys. Don't worry. I know this heart may seem a little bit hard to find, but you will find it. It's not too hard. Um, yep. Crafted just like a standard Never Portal again. And, uh, and then you just got to jump on through. So this is the Appalachia Dimension, a stunning looking dimension and it is actually described as a waypoint between peaceful and aggressive, just like a sunset, which is the transition from day to night, as we all know that. It's strongly recommended to uh, get some good armor before you go to this place, guys. Uh, automatically hostile mobs such as the Appalachia Golems will spawn in all light levels and they will fight you. They will fight you real good. So we're going to spawn in some of these mobs for you guys so you can get to take a look at them after we've done a bit of a fly around so you can just get a good overview of what this dimension has to offer for you. It is yet again a great stunning looking dimension. Um, I love the colour scheme for this one. It really stands out. It really pops. Um, obviously, there's not too much difference between the actual structures of the dimensions we've come across so far. Uh, they get a little bit more varied, but that is pretty much the gist of them going through. So we'll get out some of these mobs. So there we go. That's the golem. You're going to want to watch out for this bad boy. He's pretty pretty darn strong. Okay. Boom. Some cool, cool looking dudes. Okay. There you go. So that is all the mobs for this dimension, guys. Yet again, it's got the ores and it's got all the stuff you need to get to the next dimension. You're going to have to mine up. Uh, or get the souls from these mobs and you're gonna have to get some of the ores from this area as well to go ahead and craft our next one Now we move on to the sky thin dimension. This is a very hostile dimension But it's gonna be crafted with this Appalachia block guys So there you go the souls the fragments and we're gonna need the heart of Appalachia there crafted just like this beautiful Let's jump through so as I was saying this is a very hostile environment um, it is described 
as the evening dimension. So just in Minecraft, everything at night wants to kill you. There is only one, I repeat, one uh, passive mob here, the Samic. Everything else is hostile. Every, every other mob here is going to try and kill you. So you're going to want to watch out for that. Look at these guys. Look how awesome they are. Let's go through and let's take a quick look at what this place has for us. So it's not seeing too much difference, that's a little different. Yeah, again, got a mob spawner there. So I'll go out, I'll get some of the mobs from this dimension and we'll take a gander at them, shall we? So these are the mobs held within this dimension. You can see all these guys floating around as we entered. We've got this dude, so the Mega Lath. Seems pretty, pretty deadly. Um, <laughs> the Samek, the only passive mob here. Nice, cool dude, cool dude. And then we've got my word, this guy. So as you might have been able to tell by now, there's different variations of the mobs or different color schemes anyway, reskin versions for each dimension. So you would have seen this structure for a mob in the other ones. So this is just the Skyton Archer. And then we've got this guy, which is a newer guy, I think. Oh no, friend, fiend, Skyton fiend. I almost read that as friend or run up to him, give him a hug. And then we've got the Skyton Golem, yet again, very, very similar to everything else we've come across from the different dimensions thus far. But as I said, you've got to get to this dimension to get to the next dimension. The final Twilight Dimension for this mod is the Morton one. So made with the Skyton block, just like this. And don't worry guys, we will be looking at all the mob bosses. We will be spawning them in. Uh, I might... I might do it. I'll do it in the last dimension over there. But let's jump into this one. So here we are in the Mortum dimension. A little bit more flat grounded than the previous dimensions we have been in. Uh, beautiful, beautiful looking landscape. Lots of mobs around here. Very, very similar to the ones we've previously looked at. So I won't be getting all those out. But I, I will be getting out the mob bosses I've decided for this dimension. Uh, instead of saving that for the rest. So... We'll get those out uh, now. Well, let's, should, we, should we say over in this uh, separate biome area here? This looks pretty cool. Gives a bit of lighting. Nice. So we've got the Eternal Archer for this dimension. Very, very strong dude. Sporting 1,550 HP. And then we have the Karot, which is the giant dog with horns sort of, sort of thing. Then we have the Twilight proper main bossy evil thing look at this guy proper proper tough stuff okay then who do we have next then we just got a soul fiend he's pretty tough but small not super imposing but strong and then we have denos probably the lesser of the bosses for this dimension very very strong mobs in this world guys you're gonna want to come very very well equipped and uh i might yeah i might get out the other bosses in a sec Next up, we have the Icicle Dimension. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, it's Icica, Icica rather, and it is accessed by snow blocks, which are going around here, and then lighting it up with a snow globe made just like this. So not too hard, not too hard indeed. So just hit that, and then boom, jump on through, and then take a look at the mobs this one has to offer as well, as this one has bit more varied ones I think than the others okay good perfect underground let's get above let's get out of it oh nice so a much darker gloomier dimension for us here um, let's grab some of these bad boys out let's go let's go let's go boom okay so let's try it so we have nitwit cool dude let's spawn him around near the light so we've got a nitwit um we've got whatever this is it's like a golem i know this is rather dark guys you know what let's get um some night vision out here let's do that that'll be a bit better for you guys to see boom okay there we go that'll be white nice one okay so let's get this out what on earth is this that's pretty sick this is also pretty cool i'm liking this uh whoa Okay, and then we've got one of these guys, another nitwit, a red nitwit. We've got a Frosty, Frosty the Snowman, everyone loves him, pretty chill dude. Uh, we've got a Frost Archer here, and then we've got one on Earth, that guy. 
and then we've got one of these bad boys which is the same thing as that over there so we have one more dimension to look at guys it is a pretty sick one it is a deadlier dimension i think than the rest it's going to take a bit more it's going to be a bit more gumph i guess you could say and here it is so you're going to want to craft the nightmare bed to get to the the thea dimension you're gonna oh if i can even uh, do it so you're gonna want to craft no come on let me let me show everybody how to do the crafty craft um there we go morton blocks from obviously the morton dimension and morton planks from the trees from that dimension is going to craft this bed and when you're going to click on this bed guys it's gonna it's gonna say you can only use the nightmare bed in dark place ah not very ominous okay so we're gonna have to let's let's change the time it's going to give you warnings it's going to give you a set amount of warnings like are you sure you want to go here so pretty much guys i just had to get to a much darker zone so i dug down to bedrock and placed it and now it's whisking me off the thea dimension and this one has several layers to it this dimension alone it is a very very uh, cool and interesting dimension we won't go through all of it today purely for the fact it would take absolutely ages and i feel like this this one has been a long one today as is and i don't want to bore you guys too much but we'll take a look around this one and we'll see some of the stuff it has to offer and i'll tell you what we'll get out some of the bosses as well so there we go i've had my night vision so this is what it looks like with night vision it's a very different looking dimension to the one we were just in and yeah it just looks genuinely awesome so you've got some of the stuff like this around here where some of the mobs are going to be hiding you've got the beautiful looking structure pillars in here so let's take a gander in here and boom so what have we got here can i get in let me in let me in so what do we have we've got a mat oh damn that nitwit is is angry looking he is an angry looking nitwit so let's take a more of a gander around and uh, see what else this has to offer. So what other mobs have we got here? So this seems like so, more nitwits. So they're going to be stored within these areas. So let me go and get out some of the stuff. Instead of overcomplicating the different levels for you, I've decided just to do it like this. So you can literally just go ahead and mine up through. They get a little bit more detailed, a little bit more complicated each one you go to. So as you can see, the different structures are changing a little smidgen and going through until you get to the final one where it changes fairly completely. And you're going to find a lot more deadly, deadly mobs up here. I mean, you are going to need to be extremely prepared. Like, what even the hell is that? So let's get out some of the bosses from this dimension. And we're not even going to cover the, just the basic mobs like these guys. There's loads of them. There's absolutely tons. It'd take far too long. So here we have the, a hive soldier and with a hive queen. So she will spawn in her little minions to help her out. So yeah, don't want to mess with the hive guys. You don't want to mess with the hive. So next up we have Quadro. So like a four headed dude. Yeah, again, pretty cool, pretty nifty. Then we have Karos. Uh, he's like the you can't kill me you weak excuse for a human haha -ha. cool cool bro cool 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 all right then we have this guy let's see the raglock he is awesome and uh let's take a look what we have now we have wreck yet again pretty weird and terrifying looking not the biggest that one's bigger and then we have finally i what what you should run while you still have the chance to live I do love the smell of death. Charge, charge, lovely. The, this is Lady Luna. Not very much of a lady-like thing to say if you ask me. So the hive is already spawning in a heck of ton of stuff over here. That's one. But there we go, guys. That is a brief overview of the Divine RPG mod Dimensions and just what this mod really has to offer for you. Um, if you want more in-depth stuff, uh, let me know. I'm actually going to be putting a mod pack together for me and my mates to, well, just do a survival series on, really. And if you want this in it, guys, let me know. And if you just want any sort of mods to be in it, specifically 1.12.2 ones, uh, let me know in the comment sections down below for all upcoming videos as well. Because obviously, I want it to have mods in you guys will enjoy uh, watching. But anyway, guys, till next time.